Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Okay, so let's see. Capricorn. Oh, we have signs. All right, well, we're gonna find out what this is about because somebody is getting some signs. It could be you um, just getting a lot of synchronicities, a lot of signs pointing you in the direction towards a particular person. Um, but I also feel like this is happening for, for this person as well. So let's see. Let's see what this is about, Capricorn. All right. So the second half of, let's keep going out. I'll let you know what that was because some of you guys really want to know. Oh, the two of cups. All right. So that would be love. So signs pointing towards love. All right. So let's see. For the situation, we have the magician crossed by the nine of pentacles. Someone else had this as the challenge as well. I can't remember who. Um, so yeah. Somebody's getting signs I feel to manifest, to manifest this connection, to move towards towards love possibly, but um, could be self-worth issues. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, for the recent past, we have the Page of Pentacles. For the near future, we have the Devil. All right, that's your energy here though. So not necessarily bad, we will see. Um, for your energy, we have the Seven, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. For them, the Wheel of Fortune. More about you is the Nine of Wands for them. The Four of Pentacles and oh, potential outcome, we have the Three of Swords. All right, no need to fret though. We will see what this is about. Could be anything. Sometimes a card can appear to be negative or you know a little scary, but once we clarify, it could be something completely or almost completely different than what we thought initially. So let's see. Um, yeah, in the recent past, there were some steps that were taken or somebody was really um, giving a little bit of energy, giving a little bit of their energy to this connection. I might clarify that. I'm actually curious. We'll see. Um, for you, well, with that Eight of Pentacles, that is representative of Capricorn and it does feel like, you know, you might be focusing on work here. Um, but it's coming in as you focusing on work almost to, um, as a means of coping or as a means of, you know, just being able to make it through, making it through the day by working possibly. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it could be a little bit of resistance to what you feel. For them, we have the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles. Something is happening here. There's a shift that's taking place, which we will find out a little bit more when we, once we clarify. But I feel like they're holding back a little bit here with this Four of Pentacles. We'll see. Coming up, we have the Devil. Again, I'm going to wait and clarify as well as for the Three of Swords. So yeah, this reading just needs to be clarified, basically. That's what it comes down to. So let's see. Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. For the main situation here. All right, and we only got two. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles showing up again, as well as the star. Capricorn, what is happening here? I see, somebody's really trying hard to hold on to their independence. That's what this is about. Somebody is trying really, really hard to hold on to their independence, and so they're holding back from this connection, even though deep down, you know, they do want to manifest it. They do want it. And I feel like all the signs are there guiding them in that direction, but this person is being a little bit stubborn. So I don't know if that's you or the other person, um, but definitely it's like they're holding back from what it is that they truly want. Like they have this wish that they could manifest, but it's like their need for independence is overruling that which does 
go down, um, does come down to self-worth, right? If there's a fear of losing your own self <clears throat> in a connection, right? That's, that's a self-worth issue. So yeah, let me see this page of pentacles in the recent past. Also, just to point it out, um, we have Aquarius showing up here. All right, so for the Page of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. Yeah, so again, I feel like the emotions are there, right? It's like the love is there, but then when it comes to actions, there's a lot of in and out or there, it's just impulsive. Because the Knight of Wands is somebody who wants to be free. And so for that reason, there was a little bit of energy being put to this, giving a little bit, but not going all the way for fear of losing the independence here. All right, so let's see the Eight of Pentacles for you. Oh, the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Swords showing up a second time and it's it's attached to you. Okay, I see what this is saying. So this Three of Swords, this is like more like a precaution. It is a potential outcome, okay, but depending on what you do, you do have more control than you think. Okay, um... I do, again, I do get that, you know, this is, um... There's some pain and I feel like it's hiding beneath beneath like this um like like this show that you're putting on and the show is not to others really it's to your own self it's like you know being being social possibly going out you know trying to have a good time like keeping things you know light um working really hard but it's like underneath that there's some pain that i feel has not been been resolved It's like a cover-up. Let's see the Nine of Wands. Oh, and you've got three major Arcana cards here clarifying this Nine of Wands. Um, and they are the Fool, the Sun, and the Hierophant. All right, so Leo energy as well as Taurus showing up here. Um... Capricorn. Again, roles can be reversed, okay? Always keep that in mind. I feel like you are resisting. It's like you're resisting your happiness and you don't even really realize it. It's coming in as, you know, and it could be that you might find yourself like acting out, meaning like maybe doing something a little bit impulsive or doing something that maybe you normally wouldn't do. Um, and I feel like that's, that's if, if, and again, this could be your person, all right? But if it's you, it's like, I feel like that's happening as a reaction to that pain that you're covering up. And it's like you're doing that in a search for happiness. But it's like in that in that way, it's like you're holding on to um, this idea of should. Like, I should be feeling this way. So, you know, that's so I'm just going to push a button and, and convince myself that that's how I feel. And it's like, you know, it, it just doesn't work that way, though. Um, let's, I feel like there's a lot more to this, but I would have to clarify more. So let's just move on to your person and then yeah, we'll see what that outcome, because I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of guidance there as well. Um, okay, so Wheel of Fortune for the other person here. We have the Seven of Cups and the Chariot. Okay, so Cancer Energy now showing up. Um... There's definitely movement here. Um, I feel like, oh, let me get one more. The 
Page of Wands. This person is trying to make some, some changes here. Some changes. They're a little bit confused. I feel like it has to do with certain changes when it comes to um, possible options that they had. Either that or some um, distractions that they may have had. I feel like they're trying to take control. That's what the change is. That's what the shift is. Trying to get those reins in their hands and trying to control those horses. And I do feel like this person also feels a little bit out of control at times. I feel like they may be acting out just a little bit as well. But for the most part, I see them really just trying to get something, something here under control when it comes to the situation with you. They're trying to make some kind of a change. They're trying to move things in a different direction than what they were before. And it's almost coming in as them trying to um, get something under control. And I don't know what the, for whatever reason, I know that the devil is up here and I wasn't even associating that with addiction before. But for some reason, I'm kind of getting that with this. I don't know why. Um, I think it's the Seven of Cups for, for I don't know why. Um, but something that has been causing them to either have some illusions or something about their options for some of them addictions. Trying to get that under control. So there is a shift here that is happening. Oh, okay. Let's see the Four of Pentacles for them. Maybe it will clear up a little bit. All right, the Magician, the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person is definitely holding back, but I also feel like they're holding on to you. It's like this person still feels like you belong to them. So it does come in with a little bit of um, possessiveness. And again, it's coming in as this person actually putting in a lot of effort, trying to move away from something that was the conflict, something that was conflicting in your connection. It's like they're trying to move away from that. Or maybe if it wasn't um, something that was conflicting in your connection, well then, you know, whatever it is that was conflicting them that was serving as a barrier to your connection. And again, I feel like they're getting signs as well. I feel like you've been getting signs um, pointing you to this Three of Swords, to that pain that you're still holding on to that you might be hiding and not facing. And for them, they're getting signs here with this Wheel of Fortune. Um, which is moving them in a different type of a direction than whatever direction they were going in before. And it's, it's for the better, whatever that is. It's for the better. It's moving them away from past pains or past conflicts. But it's interesting, though, because I feel like, you know, it's like they're still holding on to you. They still feel like you belong to them in a way which might be a little bit more um, intense than it should be, right? Okay, so it might not be all that healthy, but at the same time, they're also holding back from you. So I do feel like that is an attempt to kind of balance that out. Let's see the devil for what is coming up. the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Seven of Wands, <laughs> Capricorn. I, I feel like this is your energy here. Um, well, we also have Virgo showing up. I feel like, yeah, like again with that Seven of Wands, it's like you're you're blocking something out. You're blocking out this hermit. You're blocking out, you know, going deep 
into your soul to, to face what is there, you know, this pain, that three of swords, whatever that is, it might be related to this person, maybe it's something from the past, I don't know what that is, but it's there, and I feel like that is actually um, keeping you from finding, you know, that happiness and from feeling peaceful. Like it's there, it's, it's kind of keeping you stuck. And I feel like that's why, you know, the reason why it's showing up in this reading is not so that, you know, um, I can tell you, yeah, you know, you're, <laughs> you're stuck. No, it's showing up because it means that you do have the power to do something about it, actually. You can come out of that. That's why it's showing up here. Because you definitely have that, that ability. And you don't have to, like you know, if you're feeling okay, like with that three of cups, you know, then all right. But if you, if you want to be able to be, um, it, it, only if this resonates for you, right? If it doesn't resonate, then it's, it's, it's not for you. The messages are not for you anyway. Um, but if it does resonate, what I'm getting is that if you want to have like a higher quality of life and of happiness and possibly, you know, this love connection that might be affected or just love in general, you know, then it would be beneficial for you just to just to face that pain, whatever it is. Just confront it. Allow it to come to the surface. And yeah, you know, it can be a little tough. But that's the only way that it can actually be resolved, is for it to come up to the surface. Alright, so let's see that Three of Swords. So I feel like that Three of Swords is just there, just saying like, you know, I'm here. It's like screaming, I'm here, do something about this, right? Confront me, heal me, acknowledge me. All right, so clarifying that, we have the Knight of Cups, the Moon, and Death. Yeah, see, so I'm not surprised at all that the Moon showed up. Um, also Pisces, Scorpio um, energies showing up. Because it's hidden, right? It's it's like repressed. I feel like you've repressed that. And what this is saying, the message here is that, you know, you can totally have this Knight of Cups, right? A love connection that is going to feel good. Um, possibly even this person coming in, if that's what, you know, you, you were wanting. Or it could be somebody else coming in. But there is a Knight of Cups here. But this Knight of Cups is going to come in once this Three of Swords, that pain, is dealt with, with death. Right? Once it's transformed, once it comes up to the surface with the moon, so it's no longer hidden and you confront it, putting an end to it or resolving it. So yeah, again, once again, I do feel like you've been getting signs possibly for this. And I definitely feel like this other person, which maybe somebody you know, it, for some of you, I feel like it might even be somebody you don't know yet or that you haven't met yet or that you have met them but you you have no idea that this person is coming in um in a romantic way so yeah um they've been getting signs as well for whatever it is that they're dealing with here and moving forward so it's interesting that for some of you you know you this person might be somebody you've never had a connection with yet there's this sense of that possessiveness all right but um it, it could just be a different group, all right, a different group that that um, speaks to. So yeah, Capricorn, that is it. Let's get the final oracle message if this resonated for you. And if it did, please give me a thumbs up. All right, and we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. And really what I feel with this is that this is saying to you, you are safe. It is safe to confront that pain, that whatever that is, that heartbreak or just pain, that wound, whatever, whatever it is, it is safe. Allow yourself to do that. Take down that block so you can have that Knight of Cups come in. So Capricorn, that was it. I thank you so much for watching and much love.